Lyme's originosa is known to cause infection in people with chronic lung conditions. In people with SEER, Pseudomonas is the dominant respiratory pathogen in the older SEER population, and they're often infected with shared strains. People with SEER can aerosolize Pseudomonas during coughing, and these cough aerosols can travel for four meters and remain in the air for 45 minutes. This suggests that Pseudomonas can be opportunistically transmitted in the air. However, we're not sure this transmission route occurs in other people with chronic lung conditions. So we recruited people with bronchiectasis and COPD to be part of our study. 20 participants were enrolled into the cough aerosol study. They underwent up to five cough tests, two in this distance rig shown here. So the distance rig is a modular piece of equipment that can be broken up and configured to capture aerosols at various distances. For this study, the cough aerosols were collected at two and four metres. The participant is elevated into the rig and is asked to cough in the direction of the collecting cone here. From behind the patient's head, there's hep straightened HEPA filtered air, which, is, uh, which directs towards the cone to maximise ch our chances of collecting any potentially infectious cough aerosols. We also have another piece of equipment called the duration rig, which rotates to keep the particles, the cough aerosols suspended in the air. And they're aged for five, 15 and 45 minutes. The air containing the cough aerosols from both the distance and the duration rig is extracted onto enriched media for the bacteria to grow. We also investigated 95 sputum isolates from 30 participants with bronchiectasis and COPD to see if there was any shared strain infections. We found that people with bronchiectasis and COPD could release pseudomonas during coughing and these cough aerosols could travel for four metres and remain in the air for 15 minutes. However, the actual aerosol count was very low. Furthermore, we did not detect any shared strains in our sputum isolates from bronchiectasis and COPD. Therefore, aerosol transmission of pseudomonas is an unlikely route of infection in people with bronchiectasis and COPD.